Uh, anyway, I'm gonna cycle back. Hey, Josh, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Quick check-in. What's panel life like for your first time? Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Okay. Well, all then of these people staring at you aren't giving you problems. I can deal with it. Okay. Yeah, Aaron, <laughs> he could deal with it. Yeah, just deal. With he's it. cool. I can't deal with that right now. That is something oh, Ultra Magnus did say movie, one time. Isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I, gotta I know say, that from some. In the Ron, I thought that would go over in better. The Ron Friedman <laughs> panel, he dropped that joke, and no one got it. <laughs> I got it. Did you? All right. Thank you. <laughs> Shouts out. Shout, I mean, shout yourself out. Mike Seibert. Shout your. <laughs> I didn't know you had minions or something to shout yourself out for you when the. <laughs> Uh, anyway, hey Josh, uh, just real quick, was there like an experience, a panel, a something at TFCon that, that is real sticking out for you? Uh, yeah, at the charity auction when uh, Grimlockimus... Oh, the minor Megatron. The minor Megatron yeah. sold for three hundred and eighty dollars. Beautiful. Yeah. Sergio. Beautiful. Shout out third Sergio, the winner. Can I just say, the Grimlockimus custom stayed in the in the family, if you might say. Who has that Megatron? Who has Needle Nose? Who has Skipjack? Who has Snowcat? Who has Spream? It's in the family. I have nothing. You're still in the family. Okay. <laughs> you still have us. That's true. And I, got and I have Cookie Monster. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I think for this. Hey. Hey, Michael. How's it going? How's it going? I spoke into this good. like a microphone for a second because it was in the <laughs> corner of my eye. Hey, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> what was <laughs> a standout Did thing for <laughs> for you at the convention? Uh, maybe just maybe that. Maybe that. <laughs> uh, well, hmm. Okay. You have given me a difficult question. I'll because... just say I got all flustered because we're kind of going a bit fast for time, and I was trying to simultaneously say, "Don't worry, diecast. You always got my nuts." Because I forgot to bring this oh. on Friday. So we got some uh, some almonds here. Oh, thank God I didn't uh, miss the nuts. If you want some almonds. Oh, yeah. Anyway, hey, what's up? Uh, so besides the fi actually finding this, uh, just being in Canada for the first time. Welcome. Yeah. Again. It was, a, yeah, yes, yes. No, it was, no, this was such a good trip overall. And especially with things that's been going on with me, this was a well-timed event. So I'm very glad I was able to be here. I'm very glad I was able to talk to people and see people and get things and do this. Excellent. Yes. Do it again. <laughs> do what again? Come to <laughs> I thought you wanted me to repeat everything I just said, so. Come to Canada? Uh... <laughs> Please return to TFCon Toronto again. We like having you here. Okay. It's <laughs> the long version. Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I, here for you. Please come back to TFCon Toronto <laughs> again. Oh, now Please. I can hear you. Okay, now you I, got, now, okay, now I got you. Now Sorry I, got you. I used the wrong microphone. That was on me. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Hey, Chris. What was a cool experience you had? Um, getting to see the command droids. Yeah, we uh, did that uh, this afternoon. Yeah. Anyone else do the command droids room? Uh, okay, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, I know you were there. Yeah, Thank Hey, Eric, what's up? So, yeah, so <laughs> it looks like it's a really neat system um, that definitely hits the Transformers GoBots kind of vibe and aesthetic, and it fits in there that, like, company's own world of, like, I think the way that uh, one of the, the ladies that was there demoing and talking about it was, like, it's like a bunch of old VHS tapes of different types that have been recorded over and over, and, like, they're... Like splash, get the you excited bleeding. thing. Lead in had like the old like Chrome HBO intro logo and a couple of like commercial bumpers that like you don't think about, but then you see it and you're like, oh crap! I remember watching you know cartoons and that was in front of everything or every transition and well, and and they're one of their got the right feel and vibe down for what they're aiming for. One of their so. pitch videos had stuff from two of Carpenter Brute's music videos as like tonal establishment. Anyone in here listen to Carpenter Brute? Cuz I was really excited to see that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> anyway, good synthwave artists, excellent videos. Go look up Carpenter Brute's videos. They're they're freaking cool. 
but that was very cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Yeah. And uh, hey, Charles, what was hey. a cool thing you did? Well, I just really like uh, getting back. I mean, we, we've talked about how it's, you know, it's a family reunion and getting to see all the people you don't get to see throughout the whole year. So just being able to, to see everyone here. Uh, for the last two years, uh, we've hosted a kind of a, a podcast listener meetup for people who listen to our show. And so last year, I had a personal emergency and I had to leave the con early and I didn't get to participate. And this year, I didn't have another personal emergency, so that was good. And I got to stay and, <laughs> uh, and hang out with, uh, with all the listeners who were here. And uh, it's just great hanging out with, with everyone and, and having fun. And yeah, shout out Alpha Magnus, uh, Mike Seibert. Third Sergio, you didn't make it last night, but we had lunch today, so that's cool. So, uh, and Arash there, right? Mystic Marvels, as you say. Yeah. Anyone I'm missing? I hope I'm not missing anyone who's in the room. But thanks, everyone. And uh, I'm actually also just wanted to say I'm really glad that we had you around for the whole weekend this time. Yeah. Uh, and you know, for the whole weekend and everything's fine. Yes, like, everything's <laughs> fine. Yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and please come back again. As you can see, you can now come to Toronto, and there there, there will not always be a a personal emergency. <laughs> the pattern's been broken. The cycle is broken, yes. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> I was about to say, aside from Friday, <laughs> I'll let it go eventually. No, no, really quick. I just wanted to say that while he just said that seeing people is really important to him, that's one of his favorite parts, he just debated like heavily whether or not he would uh, hang out with me and when I'm going to be 10 minutes away from his house. He's like, but I have to drive 10 minutes. Like, uh, uh, both live in Pittsburgh. A lot like, can happen in 10 minutes, though. <laughs> he's, he's mischaracterizing like the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I actually said, if you're going, I will make an, an effort to come and be there. Because, but, you know. Maybe. There's two sides to every story. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, no. yeah. What, what's, what's a cool moment uh, at TFCon for you? Definitely, I would say hang out with my friends from the show. Like, it's only the second time I've ever actually gotten to do that with them. So, and just being in Canada, man, it's just, it's, it's nuts. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daryl. Hey. Uh, how was a big moment of TFCon for you, and what was it? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I generally just enjoyed the, uh, the, the hangouts. Um, we stayed up pretty late almost every night. Uh, I enjoyed hanging out with the Cybertronic Spree guys, uh, people. That, uh, was, that was really was, cool. That was fun, yeah. you know? They are so chill. Yeah. Yep. And fun. like kind of in character. Yeah, <laughs> full on in character and taking pictures with people and hanging out. And then, uh, Hot Rod sang a song and that was awesome. Um, yeah, it was just really fun. Um, then uh, we, uh, you know, diecast, and uh, you guys uh, were, were standing uh, there at the bar last night, just chatting about random stuff, <laughs> heavily, Dang. heavily debating the RCs. Uh, that was uh, that was a fun discussion. Um, <laughs> How many RCs? The no, two, it was, it was the two, uh, the, oh. two uh, the two sexy ones. Den toys. You know. <laughs> you didn't know about den toys. Is that the one with the squish thing? Yeah. yeah there was. Yeah, there was that. We were talking about that. the inappropriate that. panel lining. Yeah, there was the uh, that and then the bikini ones. So we were talking about those and seeing, like, you know, what the... I was like, oh, they're going to have a debate about the ones I want. And it's like, oh, no. No, no. We were no it, wasn't, it wasn't relevant. Right? Talking yeah. about the but it was, sticky it was, ones. It was, a really, it was a really good discussion about that. And we were talking about, like, you know, the, uh, you know, the difference in countries and stuff like that because yeah. we were having a discussion about healthcare. I was going to say healthcare. Yeah, was that, that was, that was, that was, a, that was a fun one. Healthcare at TFCon. Yeah. But uh, no, I was just having a great discussion, having conversations. It was really fun. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, talk with the artists. I always like talking with uh, the artists. Uh, got all my comics signed. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, Don't encourage any... him. <laughs> what kind of weirdo lines up a whole bunch of stuff to get signed? But uh, <laughs> if anyone noticed, Sarah uh, was selling uh, her comps at her table. And uh, she was selling some like really rare comps in there for five bucks. So it's over now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> go check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Find the DeLorean the and then go back. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just bought one. I mean, I wasn't being greedy. I just bought one. But yeah, it was uh, that was cool. It was neat. And then, do, uh, do you ever feel cornered when two Americans kind of like come up to you and start talking about healthcare? No, no. I, I I feel like I should share. I feel like I should <laughs> take them take them to a health unit and <laughs> say here. 
get, oh, a, get better. A Canadian health unit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but one shout out, we got another podcaster in the room. I just wanted to quickly shout him out here. It's, it's not Transformers related, but it's really freaking cool. We got Arash over here who does Letterkenny podcast. So if you're watching hey. Letterkenny and are into that, the Letterkenny podcast is the shit. So check that out. All right, and yo, <coughs> diecast. What's a moment for you aside from that Cookie Monster moment? The cook, the Cookie Monster moment was good, but also uh, this was my first chance to actually play Transformers trading card game, and there was a nice guy in the room who helped me out with a hat <laughs> that's sitting in the audience. Uh, thank you very much for teaching me or trying to teach me that game because it's a. Uh, I, I still don't quite grasp everything, but I think I could experiment a little bit on my own now. Uh, can you play that by yourself? You can. There's, there are some players who solitaire to do deck teching and you know gold, gold fishing, as we say. Hmm. It's where you start just like playing one sided to see how the deck runs. Is there rum in that cold? Uh, not yet. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah. I, I will. Sadly, come to his defense and say, yes, the term is gold fishing. Aaron came like to my defense, everyone. Did you see fish. that? It's, it was the right thing. Cool. He stood up for my <laughs> honor. Uh, but yeah, and also while I was in that room, uh, I bought like two decks and I pulled a super rare cog. Cog. Yes. That. You can't tell you're bitter at all. Evangelist doesn't have a cog. I don't know either. Thanks. <laughs> but you're not sitting next to your friend who's going to help you get a hold of a cog, so you know it's not really as relevant as my situation. Here, is it? Oh. Thanks for standing up for my honor, though. I do really appreciate it. <laughs> it is gold fishing. Uh, so my, my moment, I want to quickly expand on command droids, because there's a thing I learned during that that I think kind of, I mean, maybe you don't have my taste, but there's two factions in command droids. There are robots who are in disguise on our planet, and they have to partner with a human to get biorhythmic feedback to be able to transform. They're semi-piloted, in a way. The good guy ones, uh, the sim symbioids? Yes. S symbi something? Symbi, you know? They work with a partner. The um, nemesites, the evil ones, they just use humans as batteries, and they said that literally it gets body horror. It gets, like, H.R. Geiger. It gets... Uh, it gets real, like, basically, if you get into a nemesite who's in a car mode, a fancy car, the doors open, oh, I'm gonna get in this car, you go 10 and 2, hooks come out and just come into your hands. What? Uh, one of their first scenarios they ran, they said that there was a bit where all the kids' characters were going by, they were, they were going to, like, prom or something, and there's like, a, a beautiful, like, beautiful pearl-white car sitting outside the prom with its door open, and when they got closer, they could just smell blood inside the car. Uh, there was like a crazed hillbilly robot who turned into a combine thresher. Uh, and this is all just stuff they're coming up with. Like, this system, that setting, I got very interested because there's one thing I like, it's transforming robots mixed with body horror. So I was incredibly into it. Um, I did a character gen thing, which was pretty fun. Did it with Eric over there and another gentleman who I don't know if he's in the room. I don't think he is, no. but it was fun. Um, the only other thing for a moment, I'm just going to say, I ran into a thing this year, not the first time, but this time I really noticed it, and it is not a bad thing. It's, it's, a, it's, it's something I gotta appreciate that it is me being somewhat spoiled here. I can't, I, when, the, when four o'clock hit, I was like, damn it! I had all these things I wanted to do. I only got to play like three or four games of TCG. I only blah, blah. But also, I was never not doing something this entire weekend. Uh, so it, it, was, it was a really weird thing to really just like, like separate from the self and identify in the moment of like, you know, I have more to do that I would like to do and can feasibly do than I can possibly actually do yeah. in, in the weekend. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's, 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 it's a real self-check. You got to go, like, I can't get mad about it, but, but boy, like it's, <laughs> there, there are folks who don't, who, you know, don't get to go to conventions, don't get to, to spend three days being st not starved for what to do, but instead gorged on what to do mm -hmm. and yet not feeling full. So you say you need a clone, is what you need. Only if that clone and me share a brain, or, or if I can s subsume that clone back into me to devour its experience and make it my own. You're heartless. Well, yeah, it's I mean, if I'm getting a clone... Core, if you did not oh, catch what he was saying just before that... <laughs> if I'm getting a clone, it's not real. It's not a person. It's, it's data. You want to be multiple. Man. It's a data collector. 
and I'm consuming it when it's done, whether it likes it or not. <laughs> Listen, when you get, let me put it out to all you. When you get a piece of bread, you make your sandwich. Oh, I don't have the same piece of bread. I ran out. I'll just put another piece of bread from a different loaf on top, get another flavor in there. Am I wrong? Yes. yes. You're calling our motto a piece of crumb. I saw a bunch of people saying I'm not wrong. And I'm choosing only to notice them. 